This man didn't know there was a camera. Look what he did. A woman fought off a man who brandished a knife and demanded money at her family's tax and insurance business in Pomona last weekend. A California woman would not back down as a knife-wielding man went after her family's money. The footage recorded Saturday afternoon shows Concepcion Escalante, 23, working alone at her family's car insurance business. A man walks in and the conversation between him and Escalante is cordial. He was so nice, smiling, she told Inside Edition. Then the suspect said he had to go back to his car to retrieve his license. Thirty minutes later, he returns with a knife in his hand. A woman bravely fought off an attacker who came into her family's insurance store brandishing a knife in California. Footage shows the attacker approach Escalante, who was sitting behind her desk, and then pull out a knife to threaten her. The two scuffle as the man drags Escalante around the room and tries to get her down on the ground in the video, which lasts over a minute. Escalante can be seen grabbing the man's head and attempting to take the knife from him and kicking him until he finally fled the store. Escalante said he turned violent when he observed money under her computer screen and took out a knife from his pocket. She told KTLA, he originally walked in so nice, he left and I helped one or two customers. Concepcion Escalante, 23, was working alone Saturday at Ale Insurance Service in Pomona when that man entered her family's business and tried to steal the cash from her desk. It was a busy day and I was just putting it, the money, to the side at the time I was eating at my desk. I had my sandwich, I put the sandwich on the money and I turned around and he pulled a knife out right away. It was a steak knife, he said. Nothing is going to happen. Just give me the money. I then hit him in his private area. The incident happened Saturday afternoon around 3.24 p.m. The man had originally entered the store about 20 minutes prior before the incident. He claimed that he needed to go get his license after asking for a quote and returned to the home and auto insurance business along Gary Avenue near Grand Avenue. Escalante added, I went for the knife. I thought if I took it away, it's not a big threat. He grabbed my hair at the top of my head. He started pushing me down and he slammed me against the bookshelf. I still didn't let go. I was getting my fingers in his eyes. Then after that, I thought the glasses that I knocked off was the knife, so I bent down to try and grab it myself. Then I realized that those were his glasses, so I was already in a bad position. The thief left behind a knife and glasses which her police are now using in the hope of tracking him down. He also got away with a thousand dollars of the store's takings. She added, you never know, I think I really got lucky that I didn't feel like stabbing that day. The guy who looked so nice and so sweet. Somebody has to know him, said Escalante, who described him as thin and possibly in his mid-fifties. He looked healthy, he looked clean, he didn't look like he was on drugs or anything. While Escalante knows she was extremely lucky she wasn't injured, she advised others not to fight back and just instead do as they ask. She added, don't fight back, you never really know, I think I got really lucky that he didn't feel like stabbing me that day. She believes that he was shocked that she fought back, saying he kind of stood there for a second. Escalante is seen being violently pulled by her hair and thrown into a wall. The suspect allegedly targeted similar businesses, including cell phone stores, gas stations with mini-marts, and insurance offices, all located in the same geographical area. At least one of the incidents was caught on camera. The robbery was reported August 31st at a tax and insurance business along Gary Avenue near Grand Avenue. The man goes for the cash on her desk, but she refuses to give up as the money flies out of his hands. The suspect eventually flees with about $900. Escalante walked away with a cut on her chest from the violent scuffle. It would have been better to just give him the money, she told Inside Edition. Police in Pomona, California say the suspect has struck before hitting three gas stations, and also brandishing a knife while demanding cash from workers. Detectives told Escalante they believe the suspect is the same man who also robbed a liquor store and another business Saturday before coming to her family's business. The same man is believed to be responsible for a series of armed robberies and robbery attempts in the area, including robberies at three local gas stations, the Pomona Police Department said via social media. Police further described the robber as a Latino man of about 40 years old, about 5 foot 6 inches tall and 150 pounds, with brown hair, brown eyes, and a mustache. He's been seen wearing blue jeans, dark or gray tennis shoes, baseball caps, and straw hats during the crime.